Hey guys, it's your boy Quincy, and today I want to talk about the film review of Spider-Man: Far From Home, um, the post uh, film review, the, the post film review. So it's going to be, I must warn you now, there's going to be, be spoiler alert. So if you don't watch this, this, this video, turn away now. Anyway, um, this is just my review of the, the Spider-Man review, the, the, far, the far away, far away from home, far away from home film review. And I personally feel it was a good film. It was a great film. Uh, I think it was better than the, the, the first one. Uh, from the, the, from the, the Spider-Man Homecoming and this one just gets better um, and this is my favourite bits of the film the first one is at the fundraiser when Aunt May was organising uh, the fundraiser for the homeless with Peter Parker dressed as Spider-Man um, Happy, Happy Hogan uh, warned Peter Parker that Nick Fury was going to call him and he shouldn't know he calls yet but instead Nick, instead Peter Parker and all this calls um, the second my, first, the second bit, my second favourite bit of the film is when um, when Peter Parker and his, and, his, and his classmates go to Venice for holiday, and obviously the the, the, the water the, the water elemental elemental uh, attack the city, and therefore Peter Parker fought, fought, fought the, fight the um, the water elemental with the help of uh, of, of Beck uh, the slash Mysterio. So therefore they, they both defeat the water elemental. That's my second favorite bit. Yeah, my third favorite bit of the Spider Man um, far um, far from home film is that the third bit. Is when Pete Park and MJ, MJ, uh, MJ find out that Beck, Beck slash Mysterio is a fraud because he uses this um, this projector to make it uses this sort of metal this like metal projector to make it look like he's fighting the mental, but really, truth is creating a, a fake battle to make it look like he's a hero. Um, and he really, that, that makes him makes him look like he pretends to fight these things, but these things is creating is creating these problems and stuff like that. Um, the fourth favorite bit of film, my fourth favorite bit of film, is in the final battle in the final battle of London. When obviously Pete and his classmates go to London, obviously he gets a new suit. And he's got a really, really nice new suit. Him and Beck um, fight, and he, beat, he beats Beck, and Beck uh, kills himself by uh, uh, a misfired shot. The fifth, eight, my fifth, my fifth eight bit of the film is when um, in the mid in mid credit credit scene, um, JJ Jameson uh, blames Spider Man for the, the uh, mental uh, mental attacks on on around, around, around certain parts of the world, and also there's a footage filmed by Mysterio. Um, revealing uh, Peter Parker's identity as Spider-Man, so that that causes a lot of problems. And hopefully there'll be another. I reckon there'll be another Spider-Man film of this one. Um, the sixth, my sixth favorite um, bit of the film is in the post-credit scene. Um, it was revealed that the scrolls Talos and 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 Sauron, uh, was masquerading as as Nick Fury the whole time, while Nick Fury was controlling him from his spit from his um from his from like a special spaceship out of space from a scroll spaceship out of space, but. Overall, I thought the film was fantastic. You know, it's a great film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, um, I'm gonna watch it again soon. Next couple of weeks, you know, I watched it twice. I watched it uh, twice. Went to my local cinema in North London, and uh, I thought it was a fantastic film. And I'm definitely, I reckon they're definitely gonna make another one. And if you watch the, if you watch the bit when Spider Man gets his, if you ever watch, if you ever get a chance, get a chance to watch the Spider Man film, it, it's his last suit that he got um, was similar to the one he had at Homecoming. Um, but he had the, had the white Spider-Man um, um, logo on his, in 